Redshift parameter z is a relative measure of distance to very distant celestial objects that is determined from z, which is found from the equation z is equal to delta lambda divided by lambda lab, where delta lambda is equal to lambda observed minus lambda lab. Lambda observed is an observed spectral line wavelength from a distant celestial object being carried by the Hubble flow, and lambda lab is the same spectral line but a wavelength found in the laboratory. Let's take a look at this redshift parameter. Redshift parameter is an indication of distance and values range from zero, indicating the object is very close to the observer, to 10 or thereabouts, indicating the object is very far away from the observer. So we're looking at Z values that are greater than or approximately equal to one. And really we want them around Z equal to four, five, six, to indicate very distant celestial objects. We determine z from this equation delta lambda divided by lambda lab, where delta lambda is lambda observed minus lambda lab, and lambda observed is the observed spectral live, uh, line wavelength from a distant celestial object being carried by the Hubble flow, such as this supercluster shown in the bottom left. We're looking at Saraswati supercluster, which is 400 million light years away from Earth in the constellation of Pisces. Notice we have this nice long line here indicating a filament, and that filament's about 652 million light years long. We have this distant object. We obtain the spectra, which is shown in the bottom portion of the graph. The top portion of the graph is showing the sun's spectrum. Now we compare the lines and we see the pattern is the same. So we want to find the amount of shift in the lines. Notice the red line is found here at this wavelength in the solar spectrum. And so we're going to call this one lambda lab. And then we notice the exact same line is shifted to the right. And so we're going to call this one lambda observed. I'll abbreviate it OBS, observed. Notice that all the lines that we see in the solar spectrum are shifted to the right in the distant object spectrum. And since the right side of the spectrum is red and the left side is purple or violet, we have what's known as a red shift. The lines are shifted towards the red, hence the name red shift parameter. The lines are shifted to the red side of the spectrum. So what we need to do is we need to determine, we're going to bring this line up this line right here is the observed line. And what we need to find is the amount of shift, which we call delta lambda. So to determine z, you need to know the amount of shift between the line in the solar spectrum and the line that's found in the distant object spectrum. And then you need to divide that by the wavelength line in the sun, which we called lambda lab. And you get your z value number, and z's that are much greater than one are going to be high redshift values.